What is up, YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode of Our 60 Journey. My name is Lucas, and I'm here to help us build healthy relationships. So, I'm taking a bit of a step today away from the energetic <laughs> stuff of relationships, and I want to focus a little bit today on the self. So, I guess really it's a relationship with ourselves. So, but this video is all is designed to guide us through and lift us up into a better state of resonance for ourselves. That way we can better dynamically connect with people around us. So if you are a light worker like me, or a star seed like me, and you feel like you know you've been put on this earth for a higher purpose, you've been brought here to raise the energy of people around you. Um, I've been getting this kind of feeling that it's been a really rough transition for a lot of us, um, for the light workers, <laughs> since December. You know, 2020, this energy showed up, this feeling has become very present that a lot's going on the planet right now. You know, there's this big awakening energy and there's a lot of positivity. And there's these really intense high ups, these emotional lifts of, wow, everything's going so great. I feel so good. And we're being met with just as many downs. Um, and that's the natural roller coaster of life. That's just what we're here to do. That's what we're going to experience. And especially because us, as empaths, are so sensitive to the environment around us that we're absorbing energy and I, I was getting my own reading today because I, I honestly I need to be like more self-care or oriented with getting my own readings because <laughs> I give out readings a lot and I give advice a lot and encouragement and I need to remind myself that self-care <laughs> you need to have someone encourage you <laughs> you know when you're the encourager all the time at some point that cup and that energy that energetic bank account goes where am I what's going on I'm out and I got a reading gave me a lot of inspiration and um, I'm feeling much better about the process um, that's been going on and so um, as always I want to <laughs> bring about my sacred geometry activation oracle guidebook because I just really find this guidebook and these cards so enlightening and um, for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel we're at like 220 something subscribers right now and I'm so grateful um, for each of you um, this channel is building so so well in divine timing and um, I cannot say enough as to how thankful I am that each of you are here witnessing this video um, so we're gonna draw a card we're gonna start first by an invocation which I haven't done in, a, in, a, in like two or three months um, so I invite you now to close your eyes and become present with your breath notice it filling up your lungs sinking deep down into your belly, energizing yourself with positivity and radiance as it comes into the body and exhaling energy of dismay, energy of separation, um, inhaling power and belief, exhaling doubt and fear. Um, this card's on bottom. <laughs> the magic card. Wait. Focus. Um, that was actually what my reader said to me today. She was like, you are filled with so much magic, and I want to give that energy back to you guys. That Remind yourself every day that you are filled with an energy of magic, and you can create the life of your dreams through intention, through belief, through the power of your own mind and your own heart. And this is a reminder today that it's time to step into a new beginning. You know, ignore the haters, okay? Shut out the negative darkness of the world and take a moment to really get inside yourself. You know, we can't avoid the negative energy and even then, you know how I'm trying to escape polarity and thought, but we cannot avoid energy that is different than ours, that will do its best to change us. But as I invite my higher guides and spirits in, to help me with this reading, I ask that the, <laughs> the divine powers that will <laughs> bring light and radiance to this reading. And the card fell right out onto my lap, so here we go. All right, the card we have today is dynamic. <laughs> it's card number 23, 
Numerology 23 is the number five, which is all about change. You know, and the first energy I'm getting is that change is scary. When change shows up and we're embraced with this new journey, this new adventure, it can be really hard to accept and realize what it is that we're about to do. The journey we're about to go on is gonna be heavy. I'm getting this image right now of Lord of the Rings. You know, when Frodo set out on that journey, I don't think he had any idea how much suffering was going to be put upon him. Emotionally, physically, energetically, that suffering was very great. And I'm getting energy right now that, you know, a lot of people's yellow chakras are not working. And if you're not familiar with the chakra system, Yellow is the color of self-empowerment, it's the color of will, it's the color of, it's the color of passion for me. It's about putting your passion and your energy out into the world and projecting change, projecting your own sense of accomplishment, your own belief in yourself. Now, as I look at this card, I'm immediately drawn to just how many colors are here. Okay, this card is full of colors. It's one of the few that has so many. And you know, there's this deep sense, and right there in the middle, yellow. There's a sense of yellow coming in and a will to believe in ourselves and to know that our destiny is manifesting and creating itself with every step. As the negative things show up, as the doubt comes in, as the fear comes in, as the energy of, I'm not sure I can make it to the end, shows up, remind yourself, you are a dynamic, multi-dimensional, layered being, and that the frequency that you carry, it is far and beyond this physical body that you're walking in. You remind yourself right now that you are an energetic force and you are constantly changing and evolving into something better. Your vibrancy of who you are is the energy that really brings that feeling of, I am so full on life right now. There's a new energy showing up. It is here. It is activated. Um, this card carries a very masculine direct presence to it. There's a power of flow and belief. And to remind ourselves that when we're in that masculine energy, that we're as we're asserting ourselves through the world, we can do it in a loving way. We can do it in a compassionate way. We can assert our energy, our will, our power, our masculine self in a way that is supportive both for us and for others. Now, when you combine that masculine energy of that triangle that you're looking at into the feminine energy, we are reminded that we are infinite. We are flowing and that we are bringing ourselves together through harmony, through a belief in... I don't want to co-work. We are creating this energy, this reality together. This energy of masculine and feminine combining, that is what we are meant to be. We are not men, we are not women, we are human. And to remind ourselves that just by witnessing the process, you're automatically part of your life and that everything you're witnessing is being affected and created by your own quantum entanglement. You are exchanging energy and vibration and molecules and electrons with everything around you. That this energy that we're holding right now is powerful and that it's bringing us together. We are bringing harmony together and reminding ourselves that everything's working itself out. All these vibrant colors you're seeing, you know, we have that dark blue, which as you know, if you watch my videos, that dark blue represents the depth of your consciousness. It represents the depth of the entire universe working together and how in the background, all these patterns are coming and manifesting a new dream for you. Remind yourself that you are unshakable. You are harmony. You are grace. You are faith. You are dynamic. This form-based reality, this earthbound life can be very troubling at times and we have to remind ourselves to take a moment to shake it out. Move the body, breathe into your heart space, keep your energy moving. Remind yourself that at every moment check in with how you feel, remind yourself to be alive, take a fresh look to a situation, take a fresh look to a relationship, be dynamic and free-flowing at all times. Oh, I love this channel so much. All right, now, with this card dynamic, I like to bring in another. I was, I was moved to use my Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck, which, as you guys know, I, I'm a Reiki master. <laughs> I'm an intuitive Reiki energy healer, and I do my best to bring a sense of joy and evolution to people. So... Now that we're witnessing this dynamic energy, this fresh energy take in, what energy are we either, oh, I'm saying there, there's two cars wanting to pop up. So what are we letting go of? And what are we creating new? 
what are we letting go of and what are we creating new. Um, the way I do this deck is I <laughs> I usually call numbers, but right now I'm being called to do it the regular way and to pull cards the way I normally do. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle until one pops out. Ooh, okay. Three cards came. All right, we have three cards today, guys. We have guilt, grief, and enlightenment. So there's all this energy showing up right now that I'm being too guided first is that grief has hit home. There's all this energy right now of the, the economy crashing and the coronavirus, and we're all dealing with all this mass programming of how the world's tearing itself down. And I need to repeat to you what I've been saying to myself and what I've been saying to other people around me. This is all necessary. We need this breakdown. We need this energy to show up right now because it's tearing us away from an old paradigm, an old belief system, an old way of looking at life and reality, and that's being torn away right now. And when I'm now being hooked to the guilt card is that a lot of us have deep-seated energy and thoughts and emotions on how life is supposed to be, ways we were raised. You know, how things were in the 80s when I was growing up are completely different than they are now in the 2020s. Things have changed, they've evolved, and seeds are implanted inside of us that tell us how life is supposed to be. And throughout our time here, we're building this, this, this life around what it is that we think the world is supposed to be. And at some point when your paradigm and your belief system is totally shattered and broken, we have to go down deep into our subconscious self and go, what seeds do I have inside me that have become mighty trees that no longer serve me? And sometimes we have memories and emotions and situations that are connected to those trees. And by uprooting the tree and uprooting the energy, we're having to release things that we hold on to energetically. We have attachments that we have to release and let go of, and that can be heartbreaking. You know, and that grief and guilt of the heartbreak, it's there, it is present, and you cannot be who you are today while holding on to who you were yesterday. And you cannot be who you're gonna to be tomorrow if you hold on to today. We are ever flowing in the present now. This now is all we have. There's no past, there's no future, they're all just different versions of the now. And part of my belief system in our, in our multi-dimensional self is that our soul lives beyond time. We are beings that incarnated into this body to create a vessel of things that we absorb by food and energy around us. And that energy is being released right now. We are walking into a new paradigm, a new belief system, a new reality of change, of acceptance, of inclusion, of removing separation. Remove separation. And the card that came out today for, in, for the positive was the Enlightenment card, which is also a word that she used today when talking to me. And this card, you know, is all about, to me, accepting and embracing your inner teacher and I was saying how yellow is down, right? Well, there's more yellow <laughs> showing up for us saying, hey, here's yellow, take it or leave it. And it's also about embracing a sense of a new inner child. You know, every morning when we wake up, we have this opportunity to become something new, to create something different than within from yesterday. And the only way to create newness is to live through the eyes of a child. You know, from the ages of birth to about the age of five, our brain exists in a theta state. We are open, we are receiving, we are constantly taking in information. And every morning when we wake up, it's time to become a new child again and listen to our own inner teacher and to know that the sun is always shining. Even when the clouds are out and we think that the world's about to end and we're not sure what's gonna happen, we have to remember that we're gonna be okay. The sun is shining. Now this is a reminder, this is from the book inside this deck. The inspiration is at this time, your journey is more important than your destination. Remember, if you face fear, you will go stronger. Your relief awaits. The thing to be asking ourselves is my thoughts are always driven by choices. I'm sorry, my choices are always driven by thoughts. How can I use my thoughts to heal myself? This card is about support, both for yourself and others, 
It's about finding your own inner courage. It's about believing in yourself. And then knowing that right now we are on a path to, enlighten, to enlightenment. It's time to connect. It's time to trust our intuition. It's time to find solitude and reflect on who we are as people and what it is we're doing right now to create a better world, both for ourselves and for others. Because this journey we're on, guys, it's one we're doing together. There is no separation. We're doing this together as a unit. And you know, it's, it's fun to live life as a dot and to be all up inside of ourselves. But in the end, all we have is each other. We're never alone. We're always with. We're always creating energy together. And the more we hold on, and the more we try to latch onto what we think is important in this earthly dimension, the less we actually have it. It's like sand. The more you, the, when you hold it in your hand, it'll sit there. But if you squeeze it, it runs away. It leaks through your hand out onto the floor. And so my last message today is take courage in yourself. Believe that today you are all that you need to be. You are supported, you are guided. Divine timing is working itself out. It's gonna be okay. So just live in the now and be present because that's all we have. You guys have a great day. Feel free to share, feel free to like, give it a thumbs up, make some comments. Um, I forgot to announce my winner. Um, my, my winner for my, <laughs> my contest last month was Stacy Brewer. Um, she will be, she'll be receiving her reading sometime in the next, I'd imagine, hour, because I'm about to do it after this. I'm gonna put this video up and then I'm gonna send her her reading. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining in.